Oh god. Don't fall off. No, no, no. Okay. I'm gonna volley. Why can't I just fly my way through this? No! So now all we have to do is just not die. Don't call at me. Hello, hello everybody. My name is Nick Fox and welcome back to VR Chat. In today's uh, World Showcase video, I decided that we needed to go to the beach. Uh, specifically, this is Gelato Beach. This is a world based off of a level from Super Mario Sunshine. And if we go over here... So right here next to Spawn, we have this map with the level, plus the silhouettes of all of the Shine Sprites in this level. Now, what does that mean? Basically, what that means is all of the Shine Sprites from the original Super Mario level are here available in this VR chat world. Some of them are a little bit easier to get than others, but that's going to be what we're going to try to do today. We're going to try to find all of them. So with that said, enough pilling around. Let's go. But while there are all the Shine Sprites to get in this level, you can get them in any order that you want. But that's not all there is to do in this level. There's also kind of just a hangout world with a couple other mini games in it. So we're going to check some of those out first. So the first thing we have is this kind of volleyball court here. You can see the box spawner for the volleyballs over there on the right. And unfortunately, the physics don't quite work super great. If you just use your hands to bap them. But that's what these rackets are here for. So pick up your racket, come over. You can, right. you can kind of sort of do something like this. I'm really bad at it. I don't even know where it went. Oh, that ball's gone. Uh, just like real life, I'm terrible at volleyball. So <laughs> we're going to move off and find something else to do, shall we? And just in case you're wondering, the answer is yes. The cataclysts do launch you into the air. Observe. Whee! Oh god. I got stuck in the air for a second. <laughs> this map also has blooper surfing, and I'm not entirely sure how this is supposed to work mechanically, but let's give it a shot, shall we? Alright, so you're supposed to sit on the thing, and then use the stick, I think? Yes? How do I... This isn't really surfing much. I'm not really going anywhere. And then if you release the stick, it just... I don't know what happened to it. I keep bumping my microphone like an idiot. So I'm gonna get off this now. Yeah, that one's... That one's a little bit beyond my capability as well. <laughs> there, there is a bit of jank in this world, I will say. But it's still cool that it's here, you know? All, all, all the shine sprites work well anyway. Also, there's like this this gondola ride here. I'm not I'm not sure what what this is for. I think it's just supposed to be like a. I'm gonna fall in the water first. Hold on. <laughs> I just completely overshot that jump. My bad. How do I start this thing? Ah, that fruit's the start button. Okay. So. Me. Got ourselves a nice little boat ride. I've never used this thing before, so I don't know how far around the map it goes. It's cool, though. Can you just imagine? This boat has eight seats on it. Imagine having, like, seven other friends with you just hanging out on a boat. The Mario level in VR chat. What a vibe that is, man. And also, if you're looking for something a little more personal, there's a two-person boat ride right here. I don't know... I don't know why the King of Red Lions is here. I guess... I guess Link has things under control, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, but enough goofing around. Let's get to some Shine Sprites. First one we're gonna go for, we're gonna go for the one in the Sand Castle, but to do that, we need a Flood. And I know where, where we can get a Flood. So over here, just to the right of Spawn, there's these two boxes. This is where you spawn your Floods. I think the blue one generates them, and the red one is to, like, throw them away to, like, save bandwidth or something. Yeah, here he is. It's a flood. Pick him up. Spray the water. I believe this is the thing that spawns the sandcastle, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright, and here we are. In the bonus level. I guess technically it's a bonus level. <laughs> um, now, this this is a little bit jank. I'm going to say that right now. 
and you might have some issues jumping on the sand blocks because if you've ever played this level before in Mario, you know, when as soon as you step on these blocks, they start to collapse. Watch. It's gone. Now, in, in this VR chat version, as those blocks collapse, it becomes really hard to jump off of them for some reason. I don't know, I guess it's just something in the coding of the level. So, really the only thing to do is to just mash the jump button and like jump as soon as you land on a block to jump to the next block. You really gotta time your jumps perfectly. Also, those sand blocks won't respawn unless you fall out and die. But you do have infinite lives, so hey. Anyway, let's go. Whee! Oh. Oh. Uh, this level gives you pretty good control over your jumps, if nothing else. Also, if you try to move as you're going up, you'll kind of, like, falter a little bit. It's just... It takes practice to get through this level. It's doable, but it's weird. Ah, oh, god, no! Well, I gotta go through it again. I don't know if you can hear me mashing my jump button on the controller. No, no. If you kind of cling to the side of it as it's disintegrating, you can kind of mash the jump button and climb up the side of it a little bit. Sometimes that can save you. But like, if you don't already have forward momentum when you jump, if you try to like, give yourself momentum mid-jump, I don't know. Ah, I fell again. Magnabbit. Ah, here we go. Okay. So now, we've made it to the castle. Now we just have to climb up to the top and get the shine. Easier said than done, though. Whoa. Okay, I can hear it sparkling. We're almost there. And the sand blocks don't disintegrate unless you hit the top of them. Ah! Oh, well, I was hoping to get a snapshot of that, but we got it. Cool. And it teleports us back out. So now, if we go over here, you can see... It registers that we have a shine. So now we got five more to find. Sadly, there's no coins. So there's no, like, 100 coin shine. Sadly or thankfully, depending on how you feel about that particular shine. Speaking of shines, I see the next one right in front of us. Alright, there he is. There's our next target. Let's see if we can deal with him. Have at thee! Ah, fuck! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Dirty whore! <laughs> Calls me names as he dies. What a jerk bag that guy is. As you can see now, Shine! You just grab it. Yeah, there's no real fanfare other than the music, so... No effect or anything. Right, now, I know I said there were six shines, but there's actually a hidden seventh shine in one of the hidden shine locations. It's gonna be down here. I'll show you. There's this little pit in the ground here toward the back of the level. If you go down in it, and you spray the back wall. Shine! Get the little shine mural. Alright. <laughs> Alright, you need to come down here at some point. Grab yourself a stick. Why do you need a stick? I'll show you. Alright, so the purpose of the stick is it's the only thing that can manipulate the watermelons. The watermelons for a shine. You gotta get the biggest watermelon back down to the juice stand way down at the bottom of the beach. You can't even see it from here. The watermelon's kind of in the way. But we take the stick and we poke it. Back. And there it goes. Now we just gotta guide it back. Alright, you. It's actually easier to do it like this than it is with Mario and Flood. Is this what you guys thought you'd be watching today? Watching a volley whack a watermelon with a stick? Oh, 
Oh, there it goes. Well, we can get rid of the stick now. Alright. So now... Now we just have to jump up there and get the shine. Uh, easier said than done, right? I actually forget, how the heck am I even get up there? Uh, like jump up the... The umbrellas? Ah, yeah. Here we go. Yoink. Cool. So we've done the sandcastle, we've done Shadow Mario, we've done the watermelons, we've done Secret Shine, because I whack my microphone for the umpteenth time. I need to get a lapel mic, I swear. So the next one we're going to get is the one in the coral reef. So if you look behind me here, you got to see the coral reef in the water. Uh, there's red coins in that coral reef. You need to find all eight red coins, and then you get a shine. Now, you can't swim in this game. I don't know. My avatar can't swim. If your avatar can swim, maybe you can. But otherwise, this, this kind of sucks. Get ready. This is about to get wild. Boom. Oh yeah, this looks a lot better for you guys than it does for me. All I see is blue murkiness. You guys are seeing a clear... You guys are seeing like a clear... A clear image. Shoot. The stream camera really puts in the work, doesn't it? A not-so-ineffective strategy. If you feel, that, feel it's necessary, it might be to use the flying camera. Because if the flying camera is anything like the stream camera, it'll give you a clear picture of what everything... And, uh... You can just find where the coins are without having to one, run around underwater for like 20 minutes. The first time I did this in VR chat, it gave me a migraine. Any! And the shine is... Right over here. Ta-da! Now we gotta do the race. We do the race, and then we do the worst star- the, the worst shine in arguably all of Super Mario Sunshine. Boy, I'm not looking forward to that. In VR. Alright, so we need to go back to spawn for this. And from spawn, if we turn around, we need to go to this little island back here. When we're back here, we gotta talk to this pokey little flat biscuit right here. What's up, nerd? Challenge me to a waste of the flag. Let's hit it. This race, I think, is kind of hard. This dweeb Naruto running in front of me. Look at this. I don't think you guys can quite see him. He is Naruto running. Which makes him even more despicable than in Super Mario Sunshine. And he's just as fast as I am, too. Come back here, you. Rah. Shortcut up the hill. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I won. Give me that shine. Nice. So we just got one more to do. And I'm not looking forward to this one. So what we have to do now... Is we have to pay a visit to an old despicable friend of ours. I'm talking about that Jagoff right there. Look at him. Flying up there like he owns the place. If you've played Mario Sunshine before, you know all about the great Sandbird. Uh, here we go. Gotta walk into the big hole in the tower and let's do this. Oh god. Alright. Getting the coins is not the hard part. You gotta get to the top of the tower. Which means don't fall off. No, no, no. Okay. I'm in a volley, why can't I just fly my way through this? No! Oh god, no! Ugh. Now I gotta walk all the way back up there. Alright, try two, let's do this again. The coins kinda glitch out their numbers if you have to do this more than once, but it still... It still actually counts them properly in the coding, so... What? How did I fall? 
The worst part of this isn't losing the sandbird, it's having to walk back up. That makes this worse than the original Mario Sunshine, it's having to walk back up every single time. Alright, take three. Gotta be careful on the tips of the wings. Because when they flap, it can basically... Whoa! Throw you for a loop! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah! Okay, and the last coin's at the top of the tower. Ah! Okay, and the last coin's at the top of the tower. So now all we have to do is just not die. Oh god. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. And he turned. But you know what? We're good. We're still up here. We're still alive. We're still making it. We're, we're good. We're Gucci. Okay. It doesn't help that you kind of slide a little bit on top of him as he moves. That doesn't help. There's the tower. Wait for the wing to come back up. Yeah! Shit, 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 no, no! Ah, no! I missed it by that much! Okay. Um, I can't, I can't, I can't climb that. It won't let me. That jump is... That last jump is almost impossible to make, by the way. I kind of wish this game would just let me have a game over and put me out of my misery. All right, here we go. We gotta make the jump again. Oh yeah, that wasn't even close. Ah, oh, damn it. And now I'm stuck in the wall. And the sandbird eventually does get to a point where he doesn't move anymore. So maybe that's the point I gotta wait for. I don't know. The red coins are just a formality at this point, really. This whole this whole thing is just, can I make it to the top of this tower? I've done it before, I swear to god I have. There's photographic evidence of me on TikTok with that shine. And the progress in this game, in this world, is saved per player. It's not like universal for everybody. So everybody has their own set of shines. Now granted that photo was taken back when I was still a, a regular user, but you know, it's still me. I still got the bandana and such. So the trick is, I think, you have to jump before the wings start going down. Because if you jump after the wings start going down... Then you won't jump, you'll just fall. Well, okay. Really? Never mind, that didn't work. Well, I think I'm about done with that. Um, I've tried it about... Maybe ten times, and there is a very sweet spot where you can actually manually jump off of that, off of the sandbird, but it's so janky that if you don't hit the sweet spot, you won't jump at all. Or you'll jump like very, very little. And it's not enough to make that gap. Now, if you have an avatar that, I've seen people with avatars that have like vehicles assigned with them, that'll probably work pretty well. But as far as just like straight jumping, I don't know if I can, Actually, a volley fly. I don't even know if this- if I put that on this avatar. I don't think I did. No. <laughs> uh, I, I, I know I didn't. Screw it. I have no idea how to even do that. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's gonna go ahead and do it for this episode of VR Chat. We got five of the six shines, plus the secret shine over there. Um, again, there's about- there's two shines from uh, regular sunshine that weren't in this game. Uh, there's also a secret one in the in the sand castle that I don't think is there. It might be. I, I just I didn't check. <laughs> but yeah, this is Gelato Beach. It's actually pretty neat. It's a nice little nostalgic hangout if you're looking for a place to just chill or if you want some shines to collect. This world is PC only. I don't think I said that before, but I will put a warning in the beginning of this video. Um, so Quest users, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> right now I am playing on a quest through Airlink. So if you have that or PC VR, that'll work as well. But anyway, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like to let me know. Leave a comment to let me know what you thought of this world. And if you have any other worlds that you want to suggest for me to check out, uh, feel free to leave those down below. And make sure you subscribe for more content coming soon. We've got more VR chat coming, more Elden Ring, more Planet Coaster, some VODs, yada yada, all the good stuff. So anyway, thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.